another practical option as regards uh, pivot tables are the report layout options. Let's uh, discover them by inserting a new pivot table into a new worksheet and placing in a very similar way as previously product category and subcategory with sales that is going to be formatted uh, in a nice uh, decimal uh, way. Uh, this is the default layout of a pivot table, which takes my category and subcategory into, same, uh, into the same A column. But on the design uh, tab, you can find two options that allow you to change uh, this layout. Uh, they are called report layout. The default one is the compact form, but you can uh, also split those two uh, columns, uh, product category and subcategory, either into an outline form, which is just creating a new column, or into something even more compact, which is called tabular form. Tabular form, from my perspective, is uh, the one that you might need really in uh, many cases, especially if you add to this uh, the option to repeat all item labels. If you additionally remove subtotals, and also maybe grand total, but this is not a must, then you get this kind of uh, database layout, flat file layout that you can use for many purposes inside uh, Excel. What is more, you've got also the blank rows option, which allows you to insert the blank row after your product category. Uh, so every new product category is going to be indicated by uh, a space, uh, by a blank row. Let's turn off the uh, blank rows and let's discuss right now the formatting options of the pivot table. Uh, by default, you can see that the row headers are highlighted, uh, especially when you work with the hierarchy. This first level uh, is going to be highlighted somehow. You can also highlight the column headers, but to see this, uh, let's place region on columns to uh, expand a bit the pivot table we have. Uh, by default, also the column headers are somehow expanded. This is the default option, but still you can turn on also the banded rows, which is quite useful for uh, white tables and also banded columns, which I don't use uh, very often because columns usually distinguish themselves uh, on their own. What is more, we've got also plenty of choices as regard uh, built-in pivot tables uh, styles, uh, starting from the light, going through the medium and the dark layouts. Uh, there is one hint for you as regards uh, data visualization that I usually talk uh, uh, during uh, data visualization courses and uh, also at the Excel BI Academy in the data visualization course. A video course uh, that uh, the less uh, ink you use the better usually so uh, I prefer the light layouts uh, that don't uh, overuse the ink you have this is the good practice coming from the uh, data visualization part uh, if you don't like uh, the layout you have you can always uh, create your own uh, pivot table style by applying a specific formatting to uh, almost every element you can find uh, in here uh, so there are plenty of options how you can uh, work with the layout and you can also clear uh, the layout which is going to turn off uh, a lot of uh, formatting options in here uh, if you add to this also the option to turn off for example the green lines uh, then you get a really a simple layout of a, a pivot table what is more uh, there is also one additional option as regards the layout of a pivot table which is called field headers which behaves differently in this 3.2 exercise and 3.1 uh, in this exercise uh, it's going to turn off the region and product category names from here uh, which is maybe not very recommended because otherwise it's hard to guess what uh, we are analyzing but in the exercise 3.1 you don't see this uh, region 
uh, names in here. They are uh, the, the name region and the product category and subcategory don't appear in here. So if you turn on the field headers in here, uh, then uh, the whole pivot table becomes a bit uh, more transparent.